Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on creating passages with Twine. Uh, if you haven't, uh, you know, watched the start a story uh, tutorial and etc., et and this is your first time using Twine, go check that out first. Otherwise, uh, let's get into this next step, uh, creating a passage. I already have a story set up here. I've already selected my chapbook story format, super important, uh, and I'm ready to begin adding things to my story. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and click into that, and we have an untitled passage. Uh, this is already a Twine story. There's just nothing in it. Uh, to see the story in action, uh, we're going to go to build and then hit play. Uh, what you're seeing here in the editor is like the code that makes up the story. Uh, to see the story in its sort of like published format, in the format that the reader would see it in, uh, hit go to build, hit play, and you'll see a blank page. Yay! <laughs> uh, we, we haven't added anything to our story yet, so of course there's nothing here. But this is sort of like the default look of the chapbook story format. So uh, let's close that out and let's add something to our story. Um, so to, to add things to the story, uh, you need to edit the passage. Uh, this is a passage, this little box. Um, twine stories are made up of passages. So uh, a, a typical twine story will have, you know, a bunch of these. Uh, right now our story has one. To edit it, I can click it and then hit edit or I can double click it. Uh, which I like better because it's faster. Um, so here's Untitled Passage. Let's rename that to uh, Start. It'll be the start of my story. Um, and then I can add some some text. Uh, there's a bunch of ways to add text. Um, but let's just start with Once Upon a Time. That's a good way to start a story. Great. Okay, um, so I've edited my passage, I'll close it, and we'll test again. Build, hit play, and there's my text. It's all beautiful on its little blank white page. Lovely. Uh, there are a couple other things you could try here, like uh, if you do a hashtag in front of it, it will make the uh, text big, which is kind of cool. It's good for like titles and stuff. Um, so maybe what I would do is say, uh, something like the story of the thing. That's, that'll be my title. And then my first little piece of my story will be once upon a time. Oh, lovely. Uh, there are so many things to add to passages. If you want some formatting tips, I've included some links in the description below for other things you can add to your passages. Uh, but for now, this is the basic idea. Uh, there's one good way to like another good way to view your your story if you uh, select your passage and hit test from here you'll get this little like debugging development window which is kind of nice uh, it does the exact same thing i usually use the test from here button just because it is usually closer at hand um and that's kind of how you make twine stories you write into your passage you test it out to see what it looks like and you go back and forth between those things until your story is done um the next step is to link passages together so that we can take the reader from one page to another. That's going to be in the next tutorial. Check the description below. Um, but uh, before that, let me just show you how to delete a passage. Uh, I can create a new passage here. Um, let's create another one, another passage. Uh, and let's say I don't want that anymore. I can highlight it and then go up here and click delete. Super easy. And that's all there's to know about creating passages in Twine. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we would love to help. Uh, otherwise, good luck and happy coding.